Welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hey boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kurt. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be introducing a new segment on my channel called Use of Force Friday. It's going to be uh, not mostly uh, legal driven concepts. There might be some references and so forth to techniques and procedures and so forth. But as you know, every agency has their own policy. So the first segment of Use of Force Friday, i.e. right now, is going to be the concept of hit them back first, more force now equals less force later, and that we use force to control, not to get them to comply. You are using control tactics to get people under control, not to make them to comply, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But uh, as you know, you've got the legal standard under the Fourth Amendment, uh, under federal law, Graham v. Connor, Scott v. Harris, and uh, Tennessee v. Gardner. So we're not really going to talk about agency policy for various obvious reasons. Agency policy can be much more restrictive than the law, i.e. case law, as your policies can be can add on restraints and issues, maybe a force continuum with your agency, or you can't uh, do this or that. A good example would be pursuit, um, uh, what you can and can't do as far as uh, pursuing somebody in a vehicle, code, th code three. But as of right now, we're going to talk about more force now equals less force later. What does that really mean? I'm going to use Krav Maga as an example. More force now doesn't mean that you're going bat out of hell and just beating somebody down that's not at all what i'm suggesting or mean and i hope you understand that from watching my channel more force now means reasonable force not minimal force but what is reasonable under the law um, under graham v connor a person i.e an officer is judged from the actions that he did from the point of view of a reasonable officer on the scene and not with 2020 lawyered vision, you know, six, eight, ten months later in a nice air conditioned courtroom, picking apart your split second decision. That's not what we're talking about. Would a reasonable officer look at what you did and say, yeah, under the Fourth Amendment, under Graham v. Connor, that was reasonable. So hit them back first means being able to articulate gram factors and we've talked about it a little bit in other videos a gram factor is a factor under graham v connor case law supreme court uh, and it is things like uh i'll use the acronym surf severity of the crime immediacy of the threat excuse me uh, articulating res or, or, or actively resisting uh, a suspect and evade or flight so surf would be severity uh, immediacy, resisting, and flight. Uh, these are fancy acronyms that academies like to use. But to us regular officers, we're breaking it down to, ooh, he had that thousand-yard stare. He was clenching his fists. He was red in the face. He bladed off in a fighting stance. He uh, locked on me with his eyes, and then he looked away. Uh, maybe he was grooming. Maybe he was adjusting his jacket and taking it off. Maybe it's something he said, like, I'm going to kick your butt. I'm not going back to jail. These are all Graham factors under Graham v. Connor. So hit him back first. More force now means less force later is actually a good thing in that sometimes you have to be a little bit more aggressive up front. You can articulate that you saw all these Graham factors. So you moved in and did a takedown and put him in handcuffs before he could do that sucker punch move on you. So later on, you didn't have to fight harder just to survive the incident. That's kind of what I mean by more force now equals less force later. So that's what I'm talking about in a nutshell. Uh, using a little more force now, reasonable force now to control the situation before it gets out of hand means less force later. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, now to readdress, we use force to control, not to get them to comply. Guys, 
you give them an order. Hey, sir, this is a warrant. You're under arrest. Turn around. Put, I need to put handcuffs on you. And they're like, screw you. I blade off in a fighting stance. And you pepper spray them. The pepper spray is to control them so you can arrest them. You're not trying to get them to comply. I hope you understand the difference. Anyway, uh, please get a hold of me if you have questions. Uh, if you have any requests, send them my way. Everybody stay safe and take care. I say, Oopy, I'll trade you this baseball for your souvenir bat. Sure. What did you learn? Let's roll. Hey. Let's be careful out. Huh?